Hey guys, today we're going to do a comparison between the Invertig 221 by HTP and the Dynasty 210 DX. And what I'm going to do for testing is we're going to weld on 8th inch aluminum plate. I'm going to show you the starting amperages and how each system actually works to get into them. Um, there's one thing on the HTP I want to show you as well that the Dynasty I either doesn't have or I can't seem to get into. It says it has it, but I can't get into it. So uh, here, I'm here. So this is the Invertig by HTP. And what I want to show you here is the AC lights blinking because I was in one of the modes. So I just want to start off by saying the HTP, this machine right here, the Invertig 221, so 221H, when you want to weld in here, it goes from 220, now we're in AC, all the way down to four amps, okay? So I leave both machines at 220 and just weld like that with the pedal. But what I want to show you is, let me get back to function, get this all straightened out. All right, so watch this. All right, so now we're in just DC mode only. We're in 2T over here. High frequency is on, power is on as you know. So I'm gonna set this to AC mode, okay? So now you have your frequency and your balance. So my balance is set at 75 and my frequency is set at eh, around 80, okay? So now if I hold down this button, now I'm in electronegative. Did you see that? So let me get back to it. So electronegative. So I can go from 10% to 90% of the electronegative. All right, so now if I hold it down again, so we got electro-negative, and now I can change electro-positive. Now the Dynasty 350s have these. So you can go from 10% all the way up to 90%. Now these machines come with the default at 90, but I just want to let you know that you can change these numbers in the system itself so that if you want to get, say you want to get more penetration, or less or more cleaning, you know, you can lower your your independent electro negative or electro positive settings, you know, depending on where you want your machine to be at. So these settings are fixed in the Dynasty 210. So you can't change these. The Dynasty 350 has them. So that's how it works. So I'm gonna uh, get out of these settings. So we're gonna leave them at 90 and go from there. Alright, so we got our high frequency on. Um, I'm gonna turn the AC back on. Again, South balance 75. I'm going to leave my frequency at 80. All right, we're going to use the water cooler today. And what we're going to weld is uh, some of this plate. So we're going to do some outside corner weld. So I'm just going to, I'm going to tack this up and weld these on. And, and I'm going to do the same exact thing. Same exact thing with the Dynasty. Reason why I want to do this is I'm trying to see how it welds on eighth inch and we're going to see the difference between the, the uh, Dynasty and the HPT Invertig and how they weld. So stay tuned. I'm going to get you on a tripod and uh, go from there. All right. So I just want to note this just so everybody knows. Okay. With the HPT Invertig, the starting amps. So when you hit the pedal, that's the starting amps or the trigger on the switch. You can only use... 10% to 90% on the HTP Invertig. What that means is I have this set to 10% right now, which the starting amps is 10% of 220. So the lowest I can start off on here for starting amps is 22 amps, just so everybody knows. I just want to let you know that, just so you know that how low you can actually go to start off. Okay, we'll cover the dynasty once we get there, but I wanted to, to let you guys know that right now. Um, due to the fact that right now we're welding on 8th inch material, it's fine. It's not going to make a big difference. But when you get on thinner stuff, the dynasty has uh, a lower starting amperage, which could help not burn through. So I just wanted to uh, throw we that We have out. 100 frequency and 80 balance.
is the Invertig. All right, we're gonna set the Dynasty to the same thing. I'm gonna do an inside corner too, just to see what that looks like. Still getting used to the inside, but there we go. Alright, let me show you on the dynasty. Here's the starting amps. 10 to 90 percent that was on the HTP. Alright, so we're gonna move on to the dynasty now. And we got the initial starting amps, 20 amps. All right, so you can set that to four, so you can change it. So the initial amp range is minimum to 210. So whatever you set for a minimum to 210. All right, let's get in. All right, so I'm gonna leave this on max 210 again. We're gonna change, to keep the balance at 75, and we're gonna turn the frequency to 100 to match what we did on the Invertag. So we have high frequency, standard pedal, no pulse, no upslope, downslope, or final. Post flow and pre flow the same. I set it to uh, 0.02 and 8 on both, and the frequency, and we're on AC. So as you notice, the Dynasty is a little bit easier to use, I think personally, anyway, but. Um, like I said, over here on the Dynasty 350s, you have the amplitude change. So you can click on the amplitude to do electric negative, electric positive changes, um, which you saw me do on the Invertig, which mine are both set to 90 right now. So I'll do some setting around, uh, settings, play, excuse me, I'll play around with the settings at another point to show you guys. But just so you know, the Dynasty is already preset, so you can't change it. So it has a set electrode positive and a set electrode negative right in the system. So let me uh, start getting this together so we can weld up the plate and kind of show the difference of the two. And um, like I said, this does have SynWave and a couple other formats that you can wave, uh, you can weld in, but you know, the HTP Invertig has the amplitude setting. So you know, if you're welding on thin metal, like you would go on, you know, triangular here, where you would just go into the amplitude settings and adjust it there. So even though this has four different waveforms, uh, you can do the same thing through the amplitude. So I'm going to set you up on the tripod here and um, kind of show you. So just for reference, this is from the Invertig. All right. And that's the inside corner. And we're going to set you up for the Dynasty. All right, so we have uh, 120 frequency, 75 balance, uh, 53, 56, same torch, CK20, water cooled. So this is the Dynasty Invertig. So I'll do them. I'll show them together next to each other.
So I restopped and restarted again just to see how it, you know, just to practice on my restarts and uh, just to make sure I didn't blow out the other side. Um, so, but I'm gonna show you here now between the Dynasty and the Invertake. Still hot, so I'm kind of getting them set up so I can show you without touching them. All right, all right. Let me get you off the truck. I didn't clean anything. I didn't acetone anything. I just took them out of the box and started welding them. You can see it's dirty metal. Uh, I wanted to kind of do real-world aluminum where it's not necessarily clean as you can get it, I guess. So that's the Dynasty 210. That's the Invert Take 221. And then fill it. That's the 210. And that's the 221. Granted, these machines are only as good as your user, obviously. And me being new urge to TIG, I feel like I can run a decent puddle now. Uh, let me show you. This is what I did just horsing around. So I'll put these pieces together. But this was... This was a butt weld, same thing. So I used uh, both welders for this. So there's some welds in there from the Dynasty and some welds in there from the Invertig. So I, I just kind of wanted to show you the difference between the two. I'll get into the amplitude settings and things like that on the, uh, on the HTP. Just, you know, I don't know if people realize that that functions there. Um, in order to, to, to change the frequency um, and also the how much electronegative and how much electropositive is going into it. So uh, one thing about these two machines too is the foot, this is wireless, which I, I actually really like this, but you know, the Invertake foot pedal is the SSC model. And as you can see, the profile is a lot different. So I guess it depends what you're used to, but when I'm welding on the Miller, then I go to the HTP, I can tell the difference in the foot pedal uh, 100%. I feel more natural on the SSC, but I like the fact that there's no wires on the Miller. So if SSC or even HTP made a wireless pedal that we can even hook up to the HTP, I would buy it in a heartbeat, but unfortunately they don't. So. Um, I like that I can put my pedal just right back in the cart and go from there, shut it down and get it out of the way. So um, anyways guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to do some more testing between the two machines, kind of see which one's better when it comes down to it. And for the value, like I said, the HTP Invertig to get this model is 3500 for the dual voltage. Um, you know, as opposed to 4500 for this machine. So it's $1,000 more. Might be worth it to you. So anyways, again, thanks for watching, guys, as always. And I'll get some more videos out. If you like uh, these videos and you want to see more of it, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you.